Hey everybody, welcome to Kiss Replicas. I'm David Paya. Let's talk Chicago screws. So what is a Chicago screw and why are we doing a video specific for it? Well, first of all, Chicago screws are how we assemble all of your armor. So all those beautiful silver bits that you see, they're not rivets. Rivets, is, uh, rivets are an otherwise cheap solution and not a very good one when it comes to assembling heavy duty armor such as this. And look at how much goes into the assembly of your armor, which in this case is the monster suit. Um, rivets, if you don't hammer them in perfectly, they, they, they fall apart. And even if hammered properly, they just aren't a good, strong bond between their male and female. It's sort of a, it, it, the truth is, it's just a cheaper solution and typically used for other kinds of solutions, not something as heavy duty or as important as this. So what is a Chicago screw? So we have them in different sizes, and I'll, I'll use the example of a half inch. Chicago screw is basically, it's a male and female. It's the same principle as a nut and a bolt. So your screw is your typical screw, but really the female is, as the nut is what differentiates the two. And they go together like your typical nut and uh, bolt would, would. The only difference is you see now how you are combining something to go together and it's able to compress two pieces so we use these in different lengths depending on where exactly they need to be attached and in this case here you can see them they're sort of i i say randomly obviously they're strategically placed but they're they're all over the armor this is everything everything that we use to to assemble it now while this is a fantastic mechanical lock, they can obviously come undone with vibrations and all of that. So what we use is an industrial product called Loctite, which is basically a glue that we introduce into the female side. We put a couple of drops inside before we put the screw to lock it up. Now, what does this do? It instantly, well, almost instantly bonds the two together so that they won't open up. So vibrations won't cause the screw to open. But not only that, it is a real, real challenge to separate the two. Like they are literally bonded together. So what does Loctite say? Loctite says if you can introduce heat onto the screw, the heat, it, it, like by putting even a solder in which we do this commonly, put a solder on top of the screw and the heat travels through the shaft and it melts the glue and you're able to open that. Now here's the real problem. Yeah, that can work from time to time, but when we're using one of the long ones, that's a lot of heat to travel down the shaft of the screw. So it just isn't really a practical solution. But not only that, again, on the outside of the female, there is no cut for a screwdriver to go in. There's no slit for a, a flathead or for a, a Phillips, there's nothing. So you can't, there's nothing for you to put the tool on to unscrew the two. So we basically attack this from a different principle entirely. And this is how we recommend everybody if you wanna remove your Chicago screws. Now, why remove them? Well, sometimes webbing gets worn out. Um, when you're sweating and, and, and when you're performing and wearing it, sweat just basically corrodes everything. And even though we use really, really good synthetic fibers with a cotton mix in our webbing and in our elastic webbing, it still is prone to deteriorating over time, particularly the elastic that's going to start to lose its stretch. So in that case, well, how do you replace them? You've got to get the Chicago screw out. Here's what we do. We use a Dremel and we like to put them on the handheld extensions. We use a cutting wheel. And what you're going to need is, other than that, two screwdrivers, both flatheads, okay? Because in our case, one side of the Chicago screw that we use is in fact um, uh, suited for a flathead. The other side doesn't have anything, it's smooth, and we're gonna change that. So, let's get started. Number one, make sure you have your eyewear. You wanna be safe when you're doing any of this, and you wanna be very, very, very careful. So, goggles and you wanna be aware of your cutting wheel and make sure that it goes nowhere near your fingers, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna introduce a slit onto the screw, and at the same time, you're gonna see the sparks flying. This is literally heating up the screw to the point that it's going to soften up the glue all in one. And this is gonna allow us to open it up, okay? Here we go. Okay, so I've made my slit. 
and uh, the glue now should be soft due to the heat that was produced by the cutting wheel. And I've got about 30 seconds before it cools. So I'm holding one screwdriver on the inside where the actual screw is that allows the screwdriver to get into. And now I've introduced the taller screwdriver into the slit that I made. And you can see that it's unscrewing just fine. And there it is. And there it is. And you can see the blue residue almost on the screw. That's what's left behind from the Loctite. And you can see it here too. Now these things are scorching hot, so I don't wanna touch them. Okay, so that now, that's how you change out your Chicago screw. So now you can replace the webbing. Some people ask um, that they want to be able to remove the wig because they want to shorten the, the sleeve armor and all of that. This is how you do it. This is how you remove the, the Chicago screws in a safe and more practical way. Now, again, you can take your solder and stick it on here and wait I don't know, five, six minutes for everything to heat up. It may or may not travel down the shaft, but even still, if you've loosened up the glue, yeah, you can put a screwdriver behind the screw on the inside, but you have nothing to twist it with on the outside. So that's why this solution, it basically kills two birds with one stone. Of course, be careful. Uh, if you're not comfortable using a Dremel, well, make sure you, you reach out to somebody who is. It is fairly straightforward, but make sure you have eye protection on and that, you're, that you've got a bit of a steady hand. By no means is it rocket science, but please do be careful. And if you have any questions about this, I'm happy to walk you through it over the phone. Uh, just give me a call at 905-751-1556, and I take calls anywhere between uh, 9.30 and 4.30, Monday to Friday, and that is Eastern Time. So Chicago screws are on all of our armor, be it uh, the monster, uh, well, there's another monster, unmasked, a destroyer, all of it. Anything that has to do with assembly of pieces, no, we do not use rivets. We don't use cheap solutions to otherwise luxurious products. It's Chicago screws all the way. And uh, like I said, happy to help if you need any assistance or post your questions beneath this video and I'll do what I can to answer as in-depth and thoroughly as I can. All right, so everybody, thank you so much and rock on.